Hey guys, Jonathan here with TLD out in New York City checking out the Unpacked event, bringing you guys a first look at Samsung's all new Galaxy S4, which upon first glance does look a little similar to the Galaxy S3, but Galaxy S3, as jokes aside, the screen alone on the Galaxy S4 is reason enough for me to call it an upgrade. The Galaxy S4 actually isn't much bigger than the Galaxy S3, and in fact, it's actually thinner and lighter than its predecessor. The display jumps up slightly from 4.8 inches on the Galaxy S3 up to 4.99 inches on the Galaxy S4, but they are definitely rounding that up and marketing this as a 5-inch smartphone. The big thing, though, is not the actual screen real estate increase. It's the amount of pixels that they packed in the display. So now it is rocking a full 1920 by 1080 resolution display, packing a massive 441 pixels per inch. Now, I'm sure the video does not do it justice, but seeing it in person, the display looks absolutely incredible. Now, I have briefly messed with the Xperia Z from Sony, and while that is 1080p as well, it's a little washed out, leaves a little bit to desired, and from first impressions, this display definitely outperforms that one. The camera on the Galaxy S4 also got a pretty big update, jumping from 8 megapixels on the Galaxy S3 all the way up to 13 megapixels on the Galaxy S4. The uh, front-facing camera got a slight update from 1.9 megapixels to 2 megapixels, so not really a whole lot there, but the big focus was actually software on the camera. We actually see some of the features brought over from the Galaxy camera over to the Galaxy S4, so you have a lot more control and customization. They also have what they call dual cameras, where you can use both the front and the rear cameras at the same time. I'm not exactly sure how useful that is, or if I found myself needing to use both the front and the back camera at the same time, but you guys can let me know what you think with a comment down below. Now, as far as other specs go, they didn't officially announce or highlight the CPU. From what I gather, the US version is indeed going to be quad-core, while the international version is going to have the 8-core Exynos processor. Now, specs and upgrades and all that good stuff aside, they spent a lot of time on the actual software. S-Translate is pretty much your personal translator where you can take actual spoken words or something like an email and translate it to a different language. And from what I can see from the demos, it did work extremely well. Now we also see AirView brought to the Galaxy S4. So we saw that on the Galaxy Note 2 where you take the S Pen, hover over a picture, get a preview. You can actually now do that without the S Pen and actually just use your finger to hover over a picture, get a little preview, actually scroll through video, or even browse web pages so you actually want to scroll. You just swipe your hand left or right to uh, even change tabs. And that's going to allow you to control your screen without actually touching it. So that's actually cool if you're eating or you don't want to get your display dirty. They also did announce smart scrolling with your eyes, which is a little bit weird. Uh, I will bring you a closer look at that and some of the features more this week when I have some more time to sit down and process everything. I'm on about two hours of sleep right now, but I want to bring you guys a quick first look at the Galaxy S4. Let me know what you think of it down below with a comment. What is your favorite features? What do you like? What do you dislike? And what do you guys want to see more coverage on? So thank you guys for watching. This is Jonathan with TLD. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button as it does help the channel out. And I will see you guys later.